welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be something different that I never did on my channel so well this is something different for me also so one thing that I've never done when I had extensions is actually try to straighten my curly extensions so today's video is going to be dedicated to me attempting to straighten this hair this is the malaysian deep curly hair from beauty forever hair if you all have not checked out my previous review on this hair make sure you go check it out you all already know the drill that will be linked in the description box below so make sure you click that link and also i have a giveaway for two lucky winners so if you're interested in some bundles Similar to this, make sure you go check out that video also, but straight into this hair. I know I don't want to make this video long at all, but I do have two flat irons right here. This is my Chi one. You guys are a bit familiar with this one. I have used this one in my previous videos. So this is my Chi flat iron, and I got this from Ulta. I'm not sure what the temperature goes up to on this one, but this Right here is a new flat iron that I've heard so many great things about. And this is the Baby Bliss Pro Titanium Extreme Flat Iron. And this goes up to 450 degrees. And they have little settings on the side also so you can adjust it. And mine is currently on 25. So these are the two flat irons I'm going to be testing out on this hair. But this is just the natural air dry texture of the hair. And um nothing's in it so I'm not going to use any products and I'm going to use my dye and straightening brush a lot of people ask me how I get my other types of hair bone straight and this is the key right here I will have this linked in the description box below also it's from Amazon and it's like six seven dollars so this is what I'm going to be using I'm not going to straight my whole head because I'm just not let's get straight into the video So this is all the hair that I sectioned off. I'm going to leave the rest in a bun and I'm just going to section off this right here into smaller pieces just so it can be a little bit easier for me to manage. So on the left side, I'm going to be using my cheat iron and on the right side, I'm going to be using the baby bliss. So let's see how these two work out. I think this one's going to work better because they say titanium um, conducts more heat or something like that. So I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so this is the chi side. I went over it two times, and this is how straight it got. It's not bone bone straight, and I don't know. The um, top is kind of straight, but the ends are a little bit frizzy. Um, I'm going to see how it holds up while I flat iron this side with the Baby Bliss and see what the difference is. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so this is the finished results of the Chi side and the Baby Bliss side. Um, I wouldn't say that the Baby Bliss side is necessarily better than the Chi at this moment because both of the sides are frizzing up and it hasn't even been straightened for 20 minutes. I'm not sure if I would have blow dried it if it would have um, straightened better, but I doubt it. But um, no product was added to this and this side was starting to frizz up while I was flat ironing this side and I know that that has to do with the hair being thin and just fluffy and just not really thick to like hold the heat. I don't know. This is another reason why I didn't want to straighten my entire head just because I know that it's going to frizz up. If you want hair that's going to curl and be able to get bone straight I don't think that this will be um the hair for you because as you can see is not staying straight and I wouldn't say that I will choose this over my chi I would have to use it on some body wave or straight hair just to get like the final my final thoughts on this the next thing is just seeing if it reverts back to the curly texture which I'm pretty sure that it will because it didn't really take too much heat but I'm just going to use my spray bottle and just spray the area with water no conditioner just nothing I'm just going to spray it with water and see if it reverts back so it's already waving up um another thing when I was fly ironing it they had a lot of flyaways I saw that was popping up when I was putting the flat iron through it so I'm pretty sure that that could be another reason why the hair didn't get bone straight just because of all those flyaways just not wanting to lay down but the hair is starting to wave up without me having to run it under like water or use conditioner so I'm gonna spray this side too hair texture as for straightening it I wouldn't suggest you buy this hair if you want to have a versatile look because I'm more than sure about an hour later it's going to be frizzy and just like a poofy mess I would get curly hair for curly body wave hair to straighten or straight hair or loose wave to even straighten so um that's another thing with my curly hair. I never got it with intentions to want to have it to be versatile. Um, I usually just got curly hair to wear it in the curly state because I'm pretty sure that I knew that it wouldn't get bone straight. So. so yeah, that's basically all I have to say for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Once again, if you haven't checked out my um, initial review for this hair, make sure you check it out. And also some links for... Um, every product that I use in this video, the Diane straightening brush and both of my flat irons will be linked below also and I'm not sure if I'm going to do an update on this hair just because it's kind of hot outside and the curly hair is a bit much so I think I'm going to go back to another texture because as you can see this is a lot of hair and it's a little bit too much to manage in the weather but um if not you all kind of know my update on the hair and how I feel about it and also if it straightens so yeah the hair is really nice it's just that it's a bit too hot for me right now and um yeah the curls are beautiful it's just that the texture is really really fluffy and airy and the curls kind of get a bit frizzy just because of the texture in that um the density of the hair is not that thick to where it can hold a defined curl um so long but um the hair is nice but you know that's <laughs> that's basically all i had to say for this video and this hair so um yeah once again thank you all so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you all in my next video bye guys <laughs>